Kathy Gurry is one of the most open-minded people that I've ever met. He is a calm, reasonable, reasoned person. He has friends from every end of the political spectrum and he listens to everyone. He goes out there and solicits feedback. He asks questions. He makes friends with everyone and he cares about their opinions. He is concerned about the issues, not about the party. One of the reasons why I'm supporting uh, Yuri Rashkin is because uh, he has not only an affinity for the people that he works for, um, or he knows who he works for, I guess is the best way of putting it, uh, and he works for the people who elect uh, him, and he serves the entire community. I would vote for Yuri because he really believes in restoring respect um, to the people of Wisconsin. A lot of people right now are really feeling down and out because they feel like they aren't being appreciated, and that's throwing, showing um, in the government and uh, how it's being run. So I think that Yuri would really listen to constituents and uh, take their opinions into consideration and just give back that feeling of respect that people need. And also, I feel like it's really important to have a really intelligent person. And uh, Yuri is just really smart, so. Yuri is the kind of guy, he's, he's always out in the community doing something, whether it's with the United Arts Council or being involved with the local theater groups. He's, he's out there and he's a part of the community and you know he's gonna fight for that, that level of community involvement. He has a very responsive nature, I think, to his constituents. He also supports labor, he supports education, and he is the best communicator I have ever known. He listens, he asks people their opinions, and he listens to them. I think that taking away collective bargaining has really made people feel disrespected. There's so many professions that are so important uh, to us that don't have the opportunity now to be able to bargain and even just to interact, to talk, and to make sure that they're getting a fair deal. So they give so much and they feel like their voice has been taken away. And I think that Yuri can help them get their voice back. I really appreciate his stand on collective bargaining on how important that is and you know as a person that has to work with uh, unions as a city official and uh, you know meet a budget uh, make sure that people are paid well and fairly treated fairly uh, I think that that's an incredible experience to bring to the state house. Yuri is the kind of guy who I think is going to get people involved in government again because it is a government of the people. I've known Yuri for a long time and he's very respectful on a personal level. So I know that he'll be very respectful to constituents, which I think is a fantastic quality because I do think sometimes the personal can carry over to the public. And I know he's a great listener and that he actually takes action in what he hears. So I think that's something we really need right now. He's going to be there, he's going to be listening, and he's going to be having those conversations that really I think Wisconsin needs to have. It's not, I'm in this party, I'm in this party, this is how I feel. Yuri is going to be someone who's going to listen and who's going to, you know, work out the details and really, really come to those understandings with, with the people who need, the, need this. I think Yuri cares about uh, the concerns of Wisconsin and of Rock County. He cares about our economic concerns. We are hurting, hurting in Wisconsin and hurting in this area of the street of uh, the state. He cares about jobs. He cares about education. He cares about the success of our state, about our ability to succeed in the future. And he cares about that far more than he cares about any partisan concern. He's going to get the people involved, get better ideas, and make it a better government the way it should be and the way our forefathers really wanted it to be.